Imagine being afraid to sleep in your bed for fear of shrapnel or a stray bullet from a battle going on outside your front door. That was the reality for Hung Cao in his native Vietnam. While he may now be the commander of the local Naval Diving and Salvage Training Center, this humble man doesn't take being an American lightly. In tonight's Faces and Places of the Panhandle, we look at how the American dream is now his dream come true. Is that everybody? All right. Commander Hung Cao is a familiar face throughout Bay County and beyond. And they were divers when Moby Dick was still a minnow. As skipper of the dive school at Naval Support Activity Panama City, he has a lot of responsibility. Naval Diving Salvage Training Center is a, a joint training com command where we train 1,300 uh, students from all five services okay. in everything from uh, basic scuba to special operations insertions, so you, uh, the Marine Force Reconnaissance guys and the Air Force Special Operations guys, and then the deep sea diving, which is really what this school was designed for. His desire is that Bay County become known for what happens behind the secure gates of this military installation. And I'm sure you, you, you're familiar with recompression chambers. And you know, all the research and development happens right here at the Surface Warfare Center, and all the testing and evaluation. The equipment is, is then put in service, then we at the Naval Diving uh, Salvage Training Center train our, our men and women to, to dive and use those uh, tools underwater. So this is really the hub of all military diving. And I would love to get Panama City to, to be re, recoined as a home of military diving. Commander Cal's path to military success has been paved with hardship, including how his family came to the United States. I was born in Vietnam uh, in 1971. In 1975, during the fall of Saigon, my family left Vietnam 14 hours before the fall of Saigon. Cal says the family's lucky lottery ticket was his sister, who was born in Ithaca, New York, while his father was working on his Ph.D. So by birth, she's an American citizen. And uh, when the fall of Saigon happened, they evacuated all Americans, uh, including their immediate families. Cal was barely four years old when they fled. I don't remember a lot of it, but you, you remember the emotions. I remember the fear because, you know, they weren't going to let my father uh, board the plane with us. And His father is his hero. My mom, you know, really held us together, and my dad was just, he, he's just a driving force. I mean, he, he was never going to quit, you know, and I think he's got the true American spirit, that, that nothing's going to hold me down. Cal says he's proud of his heritage, but America is his home. I owe a lot to this country for, for what it's given myself and my family. And so I feel serving the military basically repays a debt for my family, um, a, a debt that we, we could never, honestly, in 10 lifetimes could pay back. After graduating from the Naval Academy, he came to Panama City Beach to train for dive school 19 years ago. Later, he attended Explosive Ordnance School at Eglin Air Force Base. I graduated two days after 9-11. He spent several tours in Iraq. And our job was to, to basically dissect any IED in country and see how it works, how to counter it, and also uh, who built it. He credits his wife of 17 years and their four children with helping him through the tough times. My wife is really my, my biggest uh, grounding strap. <laughs> she, she keeps me humble. Uh, she reminds me who I serve and which is the Lord. He says serving the men and women under his command is also a top priority. Again, just like uh, how Jesus came here to s serve us, I, I came here to serve them. My, my job as a commanding officer is to serve them, to take care of their needs and make sure they have everything they need in order to, okay. to carry out the mission. Commander Cal's military career has taken him all over the world, and his expertise underwater has afforded him some interesting opportunities. He was part of the salvage crew that brought up the wreckage of the plane involving John F. Kennedy Jr. and his wife off Martha's Vineyard, and the list goes on and on.